I'm with Hilary McCormack. Hilary is manager of Ras Al Khaimah Tourism, one of seven of the United Arab Emirates. Hilary, good afternoon. Very good nice afternoon, to spend John. some time with you. Thank you. Um, first question I'd like to put to you is that Ras Al Khaimah, compared to perhaps Dubai or Abu Dhabi, is not as well known. Would you like to introduce Ras Al Khaimah as a destination and perhaps talk a little bit about its principal attractions? Thank you. Uh, Russell Kema is the fourth largest emirate of the United Arab Emirates. We're north of Dubai, by road approximately one hour, sitting on the coast of the northern uh, emirates. Most of the visitors that are coming to Russell Kema are attracted to the beach resorts that we have, the cultural and the heritage uh, aspects of the emirate. Right. And which markets do you feel Ras Al Khaimah is particularly attracted to? Or put it another way, how are you, who are you marketing the Emirate to specifically? Well, obviously the UK and the British Isles are a big market for us. Um, that's why we come to World Travel Market and have been here for the last five years. Uh, we also focus quite a lot on the German uh, and German-speaking markets, French and French-speaking markets as well. So Europe, in essence, is one of the main focuses of our marketing plans. And, and as very much an emerging destination, I guess you're seeing year on year a large increase in, in visitor numbers. Yes, we are. In fact, in this year, 2008, we saw the biggest increase of visitor numbers to Russell Kema, with 38% increase on previous years. Oh, that's very impressive. So it was pretty impressive. We were excited about that. It just goes to show that um, there is huge interest in the Emirates, and Russell Kema as a new destination is proving to be um, a very exciting option for people that are coming back as revisitors to, to the Emirates. And in terms of, uh, of new developments, I, I presume to cope with this increased capacity there are a number of new hotels being opened. Yeah, we're very lucky actually. We've got some really exciting products that we'll be opening up. Um, if I can just look at next year, 2009, we've got a Banyan Tree, which is a spa product, um, a very exciting uh, product from Asia. We have New Hilton, which will be uh, part of a beach resort. Um, Alhamra Fort and Beach Resort also has um, some new hotels, one of which will be called Alhamra Palace, which again is sitting on the beach. Um, those are the immediate ones that are opening up in 2009. But if projections, if we could look at that um, over perhaps, say, the next 10 years, the Emirate uh, will increase uh, the room, uh, total room number will be about 7,500. So that works out to be about uh, roughly about 20 hotels. And at present, present are, are most of the, your guests who come to Ras Al Khaimah, do they come in via Dubai International Airport? Yes, at the moment everybody uh, will, most of the people I should say, landing into Dubai. We do have some visitors that are arriving by Abu Dhabi as well. Um, and in the, going forward, we um, have our own airport and so we're looking to have some scheduled flights that will arrive directly into uh, Ras Al Khaimah. But certainly, if it only takes an hour to get there from the airport, one, one, and sometimes it takes an hour just to get the other side of Dubai. So, it's well, to... it's true, but I mean, many times people like a point-to-point -point, uh, trip, mm. so uh, we can offer that to them as well. Mm. So it's an option um, if they want to shop around for flights. Uh, they can, you know, they really have a lot of choice, and, and the consumer can decide what works best for them. Well, the future for Ras Al Khaimah certainly sounds very exciting. Thanks for taking time out, Hilary, and explaining it all to us. Thank you. For, thank you, John.